Hi everyone, my name is Ali. Welcome to my channel. Today I am going to be organizing my yarn once again. It has gotten to be such a mess. I'm ashamed to look at it anymore. Um, and I also just got a lot of new yarn and I might be yarn shopping tomorrow, which I shouldn't, but I do need new colors. So that's gonna be exciting. But first I wanna thank BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. If you haven't heard of BetterHelp, it's an accessible way to get therapy online if you don't have access to a therapist nearby or if you just need to get in contact with someone right away. I wanna be completely transparent with you guys and I actually am fortunate enough to have a therapist that I go to in person. But for those of you who don't have those resources, BetterHelp is a great way to get therapy. BetterHelp offers trained therapists who are trained to listen and help you. There is a broad range of expertise in BetterHelp's 20,000 plus therapist network that gives you access to help that may not be available in your area. And all you have to do to get started is just fill out a questionnaire and it'll help match you to a therapist within 48 hours. Then you can schedule sessions with them through phone or video and you can exchange unlimited messages with them. Everything you share with your therapist is completely confidential so you don't have to worry about that. And if you think you don't match with your therapist, you can always request another one without an extra fee. Currently, there are around 2 million people that use BetterHelp and have taken charge of their mental health. And if you're interested, you can get 10% off your first month at betterhelp.com slash lukebyali. And I'll have the link down below. So now on to the yarn organization. I've been dreading this. Honestly, usually I'm really excited, but I have... I'll talk about this while I get started, but last week or this week, I stayed in bed for a couple days. I just like couldn't get out of it and I was just in a funk and my entire apartment was just a complete mess. But after those two days of rest, I really got on it. I did all my errands. I cleaned up my kitchen, but it's just my yarn left. It's just like this living room area. The couch is clean as you can see, but behind the camera needs a lot of help. So I know you guys love these kinds of videos and I hope that it motivates you to clean your yarn collection along with me. So let's get started. So right now this is what we're looking at. It's become a complete mess. Um, yeah. And I've also got a nice pile of tangled yarn. Well, it's not tangled, but unsightly yarn right here. So I've got a laundry basket and I'm gonna put all the yarn that looks like this into it. I hope it doesn't get tangled, but I'm just gonna re-roll it because I can't really store it when it looks like this, so. As I was saying in the intro, the last couple days I've been in a funk, but then now when I'm recording this, it actually took me a couple weeks to get out of that funk, which is why I couldn't complete my yarn organization either. Um, I was just able to organize this yarn that is unwrapped and um, I was able to quickly re... What is it called? Re-yarn? No, what? Rewind the yarn that was kind of messed up before I left because um, I went to Vancouver, which is my hometown for the week. And there I just visited friends and family and it was really nice to see them all again. I didn't realize how much I missed them because yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I think because of my funk, I was just kind of like not seeing anyone for a while. And then to see all these people again, it was really nice. And I got to spend some quality time with my family because it was two people, uh, two people's birthday in my family. So there was a lot of cake, a lot of dinners together. And my dad's doing this really nice thing where he makes photo books for us for everyone's birthday this year. So I'm really excited I got to see that in person. Um, but yeah, here, talking about the yarn at least, this is the yarn I got from Hobby a while ago and I got so much yarn from them so I'm just kind of stacking it and I actually have to put some stuff in the back because I have way too many. But I just think it's so satisfying to see all the colors put together and then here kind of mess it up. But I like that I have enough red and pink yarn to like fill up the space. I put a poll out on Instagram asking for questions on this topic and one of them is how does school impact your mental health? I'm not gonna lie, along with everyone else, I get stressed from school quite easily, um, but I think it's all about the balance and priorities you have in your life. I think um, the assignments, at least that I'm given, is manageable. I just have a very 
procrastinating personality that really drags me down and because everything's last minute for me that's when it becomes stressful but that's when i have the motivation to do it and i actually end up doing well so it doesn't give me any um repercussions besides stress so i continue to do it which i know is bad it's also important during these stressful times to have a good support system that you can talk to rant to and just someone who can listen because for me i relieve a lot of stress just by talking about my stressors it's not the same for everyone but to have that one person even if it's just a therapist it's really helpful the next question is what's a good way to stop feeling inadequate and like you don't fit in oh this is such a good question i felt like this a lot in high school and honestly in the beginning of university because i am in a small program and I didn't have that many friends in the program and it's always like there's these big cliques that I feel like I'll never be able to be a part of and I think one aspect of it is your mindset of feeling inadequate that's something that you can change but physically to be friends with I don't know I guess quote unquote like the popular people or just the people who have more friends if you're not friends with them it's easy to have that mindset and it's hard for you to make that mindset go away but yeah i think you just have to be confident in yourself and what you offer the world i know i had a lot of hobbies and skills that i developed and that's one of the main things that gave me confidence like i'm able to do these skills but a lot of the confidence has to come from within because there's different aspects of confidence like body image or you being able to speak your mind and not just the things you can do so i think for me it came with growth and just getting older and realizing that in the end it doesn't matter what other people think of you and your only responsibility is to live truly like yourself and not really care about what other people think and once you achieve that that's when you are able to gain the confidence and maybe even open up and branch out and talk to other people you never thought you would talk to and that's how i kind of started making friends just reaching out to people i didn't really reach out to because it's always a two-way street you could sit there and be like why don't i have any friends but on the other end are you doing anything to get friends there are some people that are lucky that people just go up to them and talk to them but if that doesn't happen to you it's up to you to go up to someone else and ask them if they want to hang out because who knows maybe that person is also thinking oh why can't they make any friends how come no one goes up to them and you could be that person for them so yeah there's like a lot of different aspects to it a lot of it is just growing up and realizing your worth which is really hard to do but once you get it, it feels great. <laughs> now onto the rewinding of the yarn. I have this yarn winder from uh, yarn... <laughs> I forgot it too, <laughs> but I got it from Amazon from everyone asking. I'll put the yarn winder in the description as well. It's so satisfying to see and just watch, but I kept messing it up and so I had to keep redoing it and this is when I was really tired and didn't want to get out of bed so it was a lot of work even though you just have to wind it. <laughs> the next question is how do you maintain your school, store, and social media without burning out? How are you by the way? Thank you for asking. Uh, I kind of talked about how I was in the beginning but I'm doing a lot better now. Um, yeah that's a hard one i think i talked about it in a past video like a couple years ago when i was first starting out on youtube and i was doing so many things like for my church and for school and starting up the business which was the most difficult part once it's running it's kind of easier to manage but just the beginning of everything together was very stressful for me and on top of that i had a part-time job and I would come back around like 6 p.m. and then that's when I would do my schoolwork and all that. Um, but yeah, it was a lot to manage and I think at the time I was burnt out, but my way of burning out is not just stopping and getting lazy. I think it is now these days where I just stay in bed, I'm like, okay, I need to rest. But back then, because I couldn't just rest, I had so many responsibilities on my plate and if I didn't do them, I would be letting down a lot of people. 
uh, I think I would kind of lash out and just get angry faster or just have a bigger temper because I was just so stressed all the time that one tiny thing would just set me off and it was really not a healthy way to live because I was never relaxed like one second never relaxed um, and to fix that you have to take on what you're capable of taking on because I am a people pleaser, I tried to take on as much as possible and I couldn't say no to anyone. This is how I got myself into the situation. So I think balancing it is really prioritizing what you need to do and what you want to do and what's important for you to do rather than just saying yes to please another person. And that way, I don't think you'll get, I mean, you'll get stressed, but you won't get too overwhelmed because you're doing the things you want to and need to and not just something someone told you to do. But yeah, that's kind of my general vague answer. The next question is, what made you want to start a business while studying? I actually started my business in the summer when I didn't really have anything to do. So I was kind of bored and I was just crocheting all day anyway. And my dad told me that I should look into starting a business or not business but just like selling all my amigurumis because i was obsessed with making them at the time i was kind of like oh that's ridiculous no one would buy them but i just looked into it anyway because i was curious and i didn't have anything better to do and eventually i just ended up making my own website and buying labels and just research researching a lot on how to start one and what would make it um, popular or whatever and yeah I started it no one really bought anything from it for the first couple weeks and then BAM I got my first order and then I started selling more crochet things and because I was so excited about my first order I made a YouTube video about it and then that eventually made it more popular so that's kind of the beginning of my business and then like i said in the last question once i had this along with my schoolwork and all the other responsibilities in my life it became a lot there's a lot of moments where i just wanted to stop it and just stop making videos i think around december i just took a month break because i had no motivation to make videos and that happens once in a while I'm not sure where it comes from because then I'll just have a burst of energy where I just film a lot and then I'll post a lot and I think it just comes from me having no discipline. <laughs> it's just I do what I want when I want and it's good to a certain amount because I think I learned from when I was burnt out a couple years ago where I took on so many things and I said yes to so many things. Now I'm kind of setting the boundaries like oh i'm really stressed right now i just need to relax but then it becomes kind of extreme where i just stay in my bed for a couple weeks and i'm like wow i just did nothing and i have all these assignments due this week and then i'm stressed so much again and then i'm like oh i just did so much work when i could have just spaced it out and everything would have been fine so i think that's kind of what i have to deal with right now just having more discipline and consistency and make sure that everything's not just black and white for me so that's it for this video there's actually a lot more i have to organize because i just got a lot of new yarn as i mentioned i was gonna in the beginning of the video so part two may be coming soon also i just want to shout out my friend for these beautiful dreamcatcher earrings she sells them on instagram so i'll also have those linked below um yeah support small businesses but thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have Instagram, make sure to tag me in those posts. I would love to see it. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.